Alrighty everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another day, another storage unit video. Uh, this one only cost me a measly 20 bucks. Um, so I paid $20 for this unit at this facility right here. A total of 15 units went up. Only one didn't sell for anyone who might be interested. The most expensive unit sold for $320. Um, but yeah, I paid 20 bucks. This unit is a five by I think 10. It's very short and there's a bunch of bags to the right so who knows what's underneath the bags i think there's gonna be a bunch of kids clothes which i'll probably just do like two for a dollar four for a dollar you don't know what might be behind the bags of clothes you don't know what might be in the totes in the front i think there are a couple totes maybe some housewares or something so uh, let's make this another fun one let's see what we found the storage unit 20 bucks let's do it all right so yes i think oh yeah one unit did sell up there um but this is mine you guys can see they're kind of short. Fortunately, the door is only right to the right. The last unit I bought was up these stairs, down the hallway, up more stairs, down a hallway, pretty far from the door. So that's one of the big issues with these units is sometimes it takes forever to, uh, to uh, clear, clean out because although these are fun to do and there's always a treasure hunt, there's a lot of work. Uh, as you see, this one has black duct tape. This isn't actually my lock now with everything being different. This is the storage, facil storage facility's lock. Uh, now with everything because of what's going on, uh, the storage unit just uses their lock. And uh, yeah, what happens at these auctions, they open up these gates, everyone walks over, they look at it, then they do a whole bidding process. Only one other person bid against me. So let's see what's inside. Alright, so this might actually not be as bad as originally thought. Uh, like I said, this thing looks like it's loaded with clothes. I didn't even see that box there. I can't see what's below the box. It looks like something else. But it says Girls Winter 6X. Uh, I think this might be like kind of a kid's unit. But we'll see. 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. Here we got Chowder and Andy right next to me. Andy just brought this over, but this isn't for me. This is for his unit. Look at these guys. So yeah, he bought that one up there. That's Chowder in the gray. I don't know what they got. Throwing down potato chips. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do first is take out some of these soft goods and throw them into the. You got some clothes here. It's a decent clothes, nice jacket called Tangerine. I'm going to take out all these clothes. I probably won't bore you too much with these clothes because there's really nothing to them. This might be some sort of fur jacket. I don't know what that's all about. Looks like winter clothes. Um, oh, I didn't see that. There's a mattress in here. All right. Um, but yeah, I'm going to load up some of the soft goods. Because if I need to donate anything, got to pack the van the right way. All right, kind of getting to the belly of the beast over here. I can't, I still don't know what that stuff is. There are so many clothes. What is this? More jackets? Looks like all winter clothes. Which, you know, I think I actually would probably sell. You know, it's not the time to be selling summer clothes at the end of summer. This looks like all ties. Ties. There was one bag of just linens. I'm using a mattress cart because they're out of carts right now. So we're just, we're just rolling with the mattress cart. Andy, who, uh, he pretty much, I, I wouldn't say he owns Perky Omenville, but he pretty much does most of the work there. Uh, he does pretty much all the auction stuff. He brings a lot of the inventory. He bought that. I don't know where he just went. But if you guys ever been to Perky Omenville, you probably know Andy. He's a good guy. Ow. Just more... More clothes. What is that? What is this? 
Oh, you, <laughs> you put it around your head. I guess you walk around, do your self GoPro, self camera vlogging. I don't know. You got a jewelry box. It's like kids' jewelry, little pins. Little rings. Interesting. It's like a bunch of artsy craftsy things as well. Down about dollar fifty. All right, that works, man. All right, about a dollar fifty in there. All right, I see a bike over there, so that's gonna be our money. Money fine. If not, some of these boxes gotta be something. I don't expect shoes in those boxes, but maybe something over here. I don't know. All right, we have a whole thing of pots and pans. We'll take a quick look, see if there's anything of importance in here. Got some of that Pyrex, that purple Pyrex over there. I think it's called Vision Wear, right word. Some strainers, probably like I'd say five, ten dollars in pots and pans here. The strainers will probably get a couple bucks a piece. All this other stuff, it got a waffle maker, blender. So that's not not too bad. See what's in one of these boxes. Wow, camera gets really weird inside there without any light. How's that for your dog? All right. Salsa might might need that down the road. Mine usually breaks after about six months. This one's heavy. Oh, it's got all your cleaning supplies. That is a big thing of Elmer's glue. My goodness. All right, so we got a toaster here, and what we found. Got a person here. A little, got some money, I think. More money. These look like just blocks, like your decorative. Yeah, they're your decorative blocks. Got a toaster oven. Let's see what's in here. Is it? Yeah, you can hear it. You can also hear the air conditioner. This thing has climate control. You can't. Oh. Doesn't look like it. I am sweating so bad right now. This is like there's no climate control. It's got to be like 85 degrees in here. It is baking uh, for some reason. Uh, what do we got though? What do we have? There we go. No dollar bills, but probably I'd say like three dollars and change. It's a bunch of quarters. Found more money. So right now we're looking at like five bucks and change. So I did pay 20 bucks for this unit. I probably got at minimum five bucks in scrap there, but I'll try selling that because those strainers are pretty nice. Alright, so we're gonna go through I guess this bag has a lot. This is they have those and everything, it's a rat trap. What's in here? That's a speaker. This just looks like glassware and random stuff. Acrylic enamel. Got some pie plates. Is this a stone? You got a random stone. Rock. Bunch of markers and pens down there. Brushes. It's a random array of stuff. I got one DVD. WD-40. Hmm. Looks like more kitchenware. Bunch of sneakers and these are actually Jordans. Low top Jordans. I don't know what you call these kind of shoes. That's that. More cookware. Crocs. You can always use a pair of Crocs. 
There's a sewing machine down there. We have a purse. So a bag of something. Uh, this might be for if you have asthma. This could be like an oxygen kind of bag. I don't. It's like a face thing. So it might be if you have asthma or you need air. It's not a defibrillator. That might be worth something. There's a purse that has like a caulk gun and an iron and a paint roller. It's a huge array of stuff. Try and bring this into the light a little. Show you if there's anything good. We have lots oh, of pan. These are all the lids for the pan in this bag. Aluminum pot. There's more cookware. Lots of cookware. Cookware and clothes. Another backpack. Some shoes. A bunch of soaps. Some eyeshadow palette that's been abused. More soap. It's all just your bathroom supplies. Nice bag though. So you grab these shoe boxes and see how it looks like paperwork. That's exactly what it is, paperwork. Let's see what's in this one. Paperwork. All paperwork. So no shoes in that. Always make sure if you're ever buying these units, never to go based off what the boxes say. Uh, because there's been a lot of times where I've seen stuff that says, like, you guys might remember that one that I did. Uh, it was a storage unit. It was marked baseball gloves. It's something else, and it was like towels and plates. So never go based off what boxes say, especially if it says something like a TV or you know something crazy like that. Uh, never go off that. This is the last one that does feel like it's paperwork, and that's exactly what it is. Some schoolwork mixed in with bills, registration forms I saw in there. All right. I'm trying to take stuff out because it's so dark in there, the camera just won't pick it up. Do have a nice box here. This is just an array of stuff. We got a. I got one pair of some Nike sneakers. What are? I don't know what these are. What are those? that down sidewalk chalk looks like a bunch of mismosh arts and crafts things some more cable pictures down at the bottom boost mobile We do have another another box. Uh, what is this? It's for like making jewelry. It looks like. All right, whatever. Some. I don't know what that is. Alright. You never know with these storage units. You really never know. That is the bike. It's made by Razor. I don't know what those things cost new. I don't I don't see anything else that goes with it so far. So I don't know if um, if this thing is even sellable. Maybe I'll have to find 
I mean, these things got to cost 150, 200 bucks new. I think selling as is, I can probably get 20 bucks, 15, 20, I would think. I got all that stuff. All right, now it's pouring rain outside. This is a wild day. Let's see what's in this bin. Oh, it's a candle stand. It's paperwork again. Hey, look, more clothes. Jewelry. It doesn't look like anything silver or gold in there, but I'll put that aside. I don't know what that is. It's a phone case. Not just cosmetics. Well, cosmetics and like pins. Some sewing supplies down there as well. Interesting. Oh, look at this. Boom. A little Michael Kors bag. It looks like a lot of garbage inside. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. That might be even a catheter. I don't know. Uh, at least. Some high heels. And some books. Paperwork. I've honestly, I've honestly bumped my head on top of their thing. I don't know how many times. What is this? Crafts and frames, it says. Aha, I got a knife this time. Everyone's saying, I gotta send you a knife, I gotta send you this. We got it. Don't worry. Looks like all paperwork again. Crafts frames art. Exactly what it is. A bunch of frames. It's literally a box of frames. Alright, box of frames. More art supplies. Hey, look, more sneakers. All these sneakers, a bunch of vans. More Jordans. I think these are what? The Jordans uh, 4 Retro, maybe, if I'm right. These are like the Raptors edition. I actually had these pair. I had the same exact pair I got at a thrift store not too long ago, an adult size. I think I got 120 bucks for them. I don't think I'm going to get 120 for these, but. They're still going to sell. There's something in there. A little gummy bear. A whole bunch of sneakers. What are these? look like Timberlands. These are not Timberlands. All right. A 
more cloves. Lots and lots of cloves. Nope. Alright, so so far this unit's been pretty promising. We do have a mattress over there. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys want to see more storage unit cleanouts just like this, if you guys haven't already, subscribe down below. We got probably about four or five more boxes to go. Uh, to make 20 bucks back is not really that much of a problem here. With the clothes, I did have some sheets and some bedding. Uh, I generally just don't sell bedding, whether it be uh, like pillows I end up donating or throwing out. Uh, but like comforters, I end up donating that to the local animal shelter. So if you guys are into uh, doing this stuff, you come across a lot of bedding, consider donating to an animal shelter because they can definitely use it for the puppies and cats and whatever kind of animal or creature they might have. So yeah, got a couple more over there. But if you start adding this stuff up, a couple pair of sneakers, some frames, clothes, four for a dollar, two for a dollar. Uh, you end up with 20 bucks back within, you know, two or three boxes. So if you guys are ever wondering about, like, the logistics behind this, as long as you get the lockers in here, it's cheap, you generally do all right. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, it looks brand new. I don't know what these cost. You got an eight-foot snap set pool. Looks brand new. Box is torn, but... Hopefully it doesn't have a big hole in it. That would not be very fun. Eight foot by one foot by six inches. Get yourself a pool. Could have used this probably about what? Four months ago, five months ago? Also these uh, gray bins, very, very nice. Got a nice little, nice little tint to them. Kind of a little privacy thing. Kind of like them. Might, might end up keeping them. This person has literally the largest shoe collection I've ever seen. Now, these shoes were all wow. That's there's some nice Jordans. Where are they? Jordans, LeBrons, LeBrons. If these were all adult sizes, so even a matching pair to that, there is. All right, these were all adult sizes. This locker is worth six hundred, seven hundred dollars. Most of them are youth. They're not in too rough of shape. Some Nikes, that's not even the good side. There's really no good side, but not bad. All right, we got a couple more boxes to go. They're always good for a couple bowls, plates. What's this? This looks... Bouton. That's actually vintage. I don't see anything. They're always good for some, some milk glass as well. I feel like you're, you're always going to get some milk glass... Bowls, plates, cups, stuff like that. Uh, I did not see any video games or really too much vintage stuff in here. This is a pillow or nap, no, it's not a pillow, it's a knapsack with something in it. Stuffed animals. All right. It's a nice bin. Hey look, more cookware and stuff. So we got canisters. Wash, washcloths. All your tea in there. That doesn't close. But not close in terms of clothes clothes, but clothes. But clothes. We got a whole stack here of PJs. Another thing of more clothes. Lots and lots of clothes. So this is the last box in here. It's been a fun unit. We didn't strike gold essentially in terms of finding something truly remarkable, but we did find a bunch of reusable, resellable, salvageable stuff, stuff that if this unit does not sell, all this stuff goes to the landfill. So uh, definitely a bonus there. Let's see what's the last one. It's heavy. Okay, more artwork. Canvas. 
more frames. It looks like the whole bottom is uh, binders and books. So a whole bunch of kids' books and binders at the bottom. Why won't be able to get this thing closed now? Kind of cheated my way there. All right. So the unit is now cleaned out, nothing left. Uh, going to take, well, that probably made some people dizzy. Uh, going to take this mattress out to the van. My gloves are absolutely soaked. You can see they're like, they're like bluish. Oh, geez. Um, it's kind of a dirty mattress, but yes, you do have to take everything out of these units. Some units sold very, very cheap because they had a couch or a mattress. You have to take everything. You can't leave things. I know a lot of people say, why are you throwing that on top of all the other stuff that you just got? I have to take it. I can't just leave something like that. But uh, overall, yet another fun day of storage unit auctions or storage auction unit. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe down below. I do post these quite often. I'm going to try to post some more in the future, in the near future that is. Uh, of more storage units and things that we find. If you guys haven't checked out my storage unit playlist, I do have a playlist that I'll link at the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, hit the like button and uh, greatly appreciate all the support. I'll catch up with you guys next time for our next adventure. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.